it may happen that religion is awakened in the heart by means of philosophical knowledge but it is not necessarily so it is not the purpose of philosophy to edify and quite as little is it necessary for it to make good its claims by showing in any particular case that it must produce religious feeling in the individual philosophy it is true has to develop the necessity of religion in and for itself and to grasp the thought that spirit must of necessity advance from the other modes of its will in conceiving and feeling to this absolute mode but it is the universal destiny of spirit which is thus accomplished it is another matter to raise up the individual subject to this height the self-will the perversity or the indolence of the individuals may interfere with the necessity of their universal spiritual nature individuals may deviate from it and attempt to get for themselves a standpoint of their own and hold on to it the possibility of letting oneself drift through inertness to the standpoint of untruth or of lingering there consciously and purposely is involved in the freedom of the subject while planets plants animals cannot deviate from the necessity of their nature from the truth and become what they ought to be but in human freedom what is and what ought to be are separate this freedom brings with it the power of free choice and it is possible for it to sever itself from its necessity from its laws and to work in the opposition of its true destiny therefore although philosophical knowledge should clearly perceive the necessity of the religious standpoint and though the will should learn in the sphere of reality the nullity of its separation all this does not hinder the will from being able to persist in its obstinacy and to stand aloof from its necessity and truth there is a common and shallow manner of arguing against cognition or philosophical knowledge as when for instance it is said that such and such a man has a knowledge of god and yet remains far from religion and has not become godly it is not however the aim of knowledge to lead to this nor is it meant to do so what knowledge must do is to know religion as something which already exists it is neither its duty to induce this or that person any particular empirical subject to be religious if he has not been so before if he has nothing of religion in him and does not wish to have but the fact is no man is so utterly ruined so lost and so bad nor can we regard any one as being so wretched that he has no religion whatever in him even if it were only that he has the fear of it or some yearning after it or a feeling of hatred towards it for even in this last case he is inwardly occupied with it and cannot free himself from it frederick hegel lectures on the philosophy of religion eighteen thirty two published in eighteen ninety five from hegel's introduction pages five and six thanks for listening